Hi, I'm Lizzie. Welcome to my quick Pilates fix for neck problems. Um, so if you've woken up in the morning and you've got stiff neck, here are two really simple exercises to do that can give you a nice relief to your neck. Um, so with your hands, uh, go to the side of your neck that hurts. So let's say it's uh, this side of my neck. Um, with a nice pincer grip, grab hold of um, a bit of muscle at the bottom of your neck going into the top of your shoulder, which your upper traps, um, and give it a pinch. So the bit that sort of hurts a bit, bit pinch and causing the neck stiffness. So you pinch that side of your neck. I want you to sit up nice and tall if you can do it standing. Um, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, I want you to turn your head to look over your, your shoulder on that side, keeping the chin parallel to the floor. Inhale back through centre and then exhale, return to look away over to the other side, keeping the shoulders relaxed. So we just keep doing that. Inhale as you come through centre, exhale as you turn to look over your shoulder. Inhale back through centre and exhale, changing to the other side. And you keep doing this for about a minute. Um, if you feel that you're losing your grip on that tight part of your neck, pinch it again, just re re-establish your grip. So you can keep moving your hands around just to keep pinching the part of your neck that or the bottom of your neck, top of your shoulder that really is pinching. Might feel quite uncomfortable, don't worry about it. Just keep turning your head gently from side to side into your, your maximum range of movement. And what this is doing is going to help to release that tight muscle. So although you won't feel great while you're doing this because we're pinching that tight muscle, making it probably feel worse. As soon as we release, it's going to feel loads better. So if you feel you're in the wrong place with your hands or you just lose your grip, just change your fingers slightly. Or stop and re-grip. Re so doing it for about a minute, so that's probably about 10 times each side, uh, 15 if you can manage it. Keeping the chin parallel to the floor, keeping a nice long neck and try not to give in to the pain. So you don't want to create more pain, but just work through it, relax into it. And can we do it one more time each side? And then come back to centre, release the empty shoulder rolls. And hopefully that's feeling really better already. Uh, so another exercise, if you didn't feel that one helped, or this one might work better for you, this is another way to release the neck. So again, let, you can do the, that exercise on the other side as well. But if you've only got neck pain on one side, you only need to do it on that one side. So same with this exercise, you can do it on both sides, or just do it on the side that hurts. So again, let's say that it's this side of my neck that hurts. It runs down into the shoulder, into the upper back. This is going to release it. So um, I want you to place uh, whichever side is hurting, the opposite hand, we're going to place on the top of our head. Um, now, be gentle with necks so we don't pull, pull on them too hard. Uh, nice and gentle. Now we're going to move our head. So you've probably seen the stretch already where you sort of bring our head to the side and that using the weight of the hand just gently on the top of the head will give you a nice stretch. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're doing an active um, sort of, it's an isometric stretch, so it's going to activate the muscles and get them working, and then we stretch them whilst they're working, which is a fantastic way to release them. So, hand on the top of the head as if we're going to do that stretch, but then we're going to go the other way. So, bring your other hand out to the side. So, this is the side of my neck that hurts. You're going to drop the ear over to that shoulder. Okay, now with your head, you're going to push the head into the hand, and with your hand, you're almost trying to pull your head away. So we're trying to create some resistance without actually moving the head. Okay, so it's as if we're trying to pull the head that way, but we're pushing our head down into the hand to stop the head moving. And this is going to activate the tight muscle that's causing that neck stiffness. So we do this for about say 15 to 20 seconds, however long we can do it, to really activate that muscle. You probably won't feel much, you're just trying to create resistance there to get that muscle working. Now we're going to keep that resistance switch on, so you keep pushing your head into the hand, they're resisting each other, but we're slowly going to move our head over to the other side. So slowly, whilst you're resisting, so you're pushing your head into the hand, pushing your head into the hand, but slowly letting it move, keeping the neck uh, and head in line with each other, so don't let that head come forward, and slowly moving it away, moving it away, until you feel that lovely stretch that we get down the side of the neck, so laterally, it will go into your trapezius as well, into the upper back, and again, just hold it here for about 10 seconds, don't pull too hard in this position, it's just using the head to add a little bit of extra weight um, to increase that stretch down the side of the neck, and then we release, and again, a few shoulder rolls, 
and that will also help to loosen up the neck. So I hope that you found uh, those two, one of those two exercises, I hope they're both really good for releasing the neck. You can do each of them, um, you know, do them two times, do them three times, do them a couple of times in the day, there's no limit, so whenever you feel it tensing up, do them again. Other things to help to release your neck, again, shoulder rolls, keep your shoulders loose. Uh, neck, upper back and shoulders are all connected. So again, shoulder rolls round the other way, just to help to release that tension. And um, hopefully, one of those exercises will help. Thank you very much. Do give me a thumbs up, um, do subscribe to my channel, um, then you'll get notified of any new videos that I, that I release. But thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Lizzie, and I hope you've enjoyed my class over.